Okay guys, the old survey car is coming into the shop. So we're gonna see, she's getting ready to get torn down. We're gonna at least take the fenders off and start getting ready for restoring this beautiful machine. Okay, a few kicks just to get her lubed. Let's see what she'll do. One kick, baby, one kick. <laughs> Backfire, but she's in. Okay, we got bikes crammed in here now, don't we? Got to come up with a name for this one. We got Soft Tail Sally, Frankie, the FLH, the green FLH. I don't know. She's got to name herself. Ain't figured that out yet. Stay tuned for more as we keep playing with this old beast. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to kickstart that like button. All right, so let me look because I don't know what all I need to do what with this one because I've never torn one of these apart. All right, so when I bought this machine that was full of some stuff and I've bought a few things. So these are my rear bumper brackets and these brackets actually bolt to each other on either side of the box. So there's a cool rear, rear bumper. So we've got those license plate bracket. Huh. So the first thing I bought was this. I call them candy canes. I don't know what they're really supposed to be called. These actually mount right here and here. So you can hold on if you're sitting on the box or driving it. They say you're not supposed to do that. Watch me. There's an old school hub. There's a head. Oh my goodness. So all this stuff. What we're trying to do is I'm trying to get this thing disassembled. I'm going to get the fenders off and the box off. If you look at it, see the shake on it? The bushings on everything are so blown out that I want to go through and rebushing everything. And then it's going to get a paint job. And then my buddy Jim McGrath, I, me and him wheeled and dealed for my 62 pan head. For the soft tail sally and the red flt he actually has sold me all his 1949 survey car stuff so i've got a whole pallet from fastenal should be here this coming week with all kinds of treasures for this machine there's a replacement coil wow there's an old school horn it's a delco so that might be original there's a couple of lenses tombstone lenses so this bike should have the tombstone lights here on both sides and it will this is my trickle charger i needed to make sure to keep some juice on this machine for later got some assorted plug wires looks like a throttle cable Oh, that looks like the speedometer cable, which is not hooked up, but it is the original speedometer. That stuff I'm getting from Jim, there's a brand new wiring harness in there. I hope it's complete for survey car. We'll find out this week. That might be next video was inventorying all the flathead parts that are coming out of Northern Illinois. Let me grab a couple wrenches and see if we can't get some fenders off this thing. This is a whole new adventure for me, but it's all just nuts and bolts, right? So we've got what seems like a whole lot more bolts than you would need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten or eleven bolts to hold that fender on there. And nowadays half the stuff is built with just little plastic push tabs, not even bolts. What's the old saying? They don't build it like they used to? That's for sure. Okay, so we got all of those loose. Let's see what else could be holding us here. At least I got a rubber mat to crawl on today. All right, so come take a look in here if you can, guys. It's a little dark because we're playing with different lighting. But if you look in here, see the spot welds where somebody's welded all this together? There's a weld in that corner, and I think they've got it hot enough that they've got that fender welded to it. You can see there's been some work done here. A lot to do on this old machine. So I'm all loose, but for some reason, this front corner doesn't want to come apart. And I think that that spot weld on the back side is holding me in right there. And I just don't want to mean muscle too bad or mess anything up so nice and easy i'm checking for missed bolts missed opportunities aha there you go one old survey car fender what do you think of that i wonder if this machine was actually red we got a weld mark here not too shabby these channel here that's where your wires go for your tombstone brake lights that go here it's got your wire channel there that's very cool all right so now we're around to the other side we're going to try and take these ones off first so the soft tail sally bike we uh, put out there everybody to suggest colors and i've got dozens of suggestions on colors 
which is cool. I really appreciate it, guys. It is at the painter. Hopefully have it back that second week of January. And I haven't even told the wife uh, what color that is. This one we're not going to play games with. This one, the whole box is going to be a birch white or a cream. And then the fenders and the tanks, the front fender, the gas tank, the oil tank, and the fenders are going to be a metallic root beer. So it's going to be that root beer and cream, which to me is one of the best color schemes they ever came up with. Don't know if it's period authentic or not. Don't even really care. It's going to be pretty with the uh, black spoke wheels and that black Springer front end. This is going to be a pretty sexy looking machine. And I've painted a couple bikes in my day. I'm not a painter by any means. I'm going to try and paint this one out this side of my shop. When I had this shop built, I had a 10 foot carport built into it. So I'm going to actually try and get a gun and make a little spray booth out there. And I will actually be painting this one myself, which might be an absolute disaster, but what the hell? I can't dance, I might as well paint. I was at a buddy of mine, Jesse's house yesterday. He's got a 56 survey car and he has all his stuff off and he's gonna run it that way. I might run this one for a while that way because it really is a cool looking machine without all the tins on it. You hate that bolt that just doesn't ever loosen no matter how many threads you get off, it still doesn't wanna come loose. There it goes, come on. So these are all been reasonably new fasteners. I probably will go back through and redo all of these with new fasteners, get me some nice fender washers behind them and probably put nylon, nylock nuts on them just so it doesn't shake it apart. And just cause it won't, you know, I want it to be clean. The guy can spend $50 in bolts and washers and nuts. And the end result is such a cleaner looking machine and no maintenance, you know. I don't know why it's hanging up on that strut, but it is. So I'm doing the contortionist. I'm pushing that bolt with my finger under here and I'm holding the fender with my elbow. Now, if I did something right, ah, oh, something's still holding. What's holding, guy? Well, I don't see any bolts holding. That don't mean there ain't. So there's the missing bolt that the other side didn't have that this side does. Trial and error. Hey, two fenders. Let's look at this one. Oh, this one's in a lot better shape. So yeah, these are OEM fenders. These have, uh, they're not aftermarket. They haven't been butchered. This one has no welds on it at all. The other one had a couple weld spots, which I'll make sure are strong enough. I'm not a body man, so the less body work I do, the better. Okay, so she looks a little naked. I guess next is gonna be the box. I think before I do the box, I'm gonna try and get this front shroud off of there. And once the weather warms up, I can take this out there and pressure wash it, degrease it, clean it all up, and really have an idea of what I need to work on. Okay, so that's clear of the box. And this side is clear of the box. Yeehaw! So that was a shock bolt. Good to know. Yeah, check that out. Okay, that one's loose. All right, so I've got these shock bolts. And then it looks like I've got these four bolts up here. And I might have this thing out of here today. I think I'm gonna try that trick again. That worked so good last time. Nope, because that shock is right in the way. There we go, come on. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, okay. Had my foot under the box. Wow, there you go. One stripped down survey car. Yeah, so if you look here, guys, see how this is pretty solid? Look at this one. Clunk, 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 clunk. Bushings, bushings. Other than that, I don't think there's a lot going on. Kind of interesting that you have shock absorbers. You wanna talk about suspension? 75 years old, this thing has shock absorbers, it has coil springs, and it has leaf spring. That's a lot of suspension considering there's only one butt on the machine. Pretty cool, I like it. All right, you guys made it to the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please kickstart that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also comment what you guys think. Let me know if you have any suggestions for video ideas or topics you guys want covered and I'll do my best to include those in my next projects. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Also, don't forget to check out the Beat Kids link in the description below. See you next time.